In the middle of your night, there's a Christian nightlight beaming the good news from 1,149 feet in the air, piercing the darkness with a bright ray of hope. From the tallest freestanding observation tower in the United States, breaking the bondage of temptation by booming down into Sin City's late night Las Vegas strip, broadcasting live, coast to coast, and streaming around the world on the internet. He's prayed with thousands, and now he's ready to pray with you, the dynamic prayer of faith on the all-new Pray America Live. Here, Midnight's Radio Pastor, David Wood. Yes, going from East Coast to West Coast in the middle of the night, ready to pray the prayer of faith with you. I'm charged up, and I'm excited to see what God has for you tonight. And even though our phones don't work, we're going to make them work. So everything on the screen is right. But technically, we've got to maneuver. Maneuver! That's what you got to do in the spirit realm, is you got to learn to maneuver in God. Can you maneuver in God? Oh, I believe you can, beloved. Hello, everybody. I've been waiting for tonight, and I've been excited to see what the Lord is going to do. Jesus is your elder brother, and he's your friend. I was ministering in Pennsylvania. Uh, let's see. Somewhere north of Pittsburgh, way out in the country, and uh, it was a, it's beautiful, Rolling grassy hills, sort of like Kentucky, a little bit like that, sort of like Oregon, you know, Washington. But I heard a guy he come out of the hotel and, and he was fired up. <laughs> he had a German accent. I can't do it. I can't emulate it. I can't, you know, try to do it. But he said, Jesus is my elder brother and my best friend. God is my father. And I'm a part of a wonderful family. And I thought, wow, wow, he's right. And that stuck with me, stayed with me for a long time. He was a hotel manager. And I guess he'd been with the Lord. And he got fired up, just had to come out and share it with. He didn't know I was even a preacher. He didn't know I was even getting ready for us. Well, maybe he did. Maybe he knew I was going to church that night. But those short, those short simple words. Ah, uh, stayed with me for so long and still stay with me today. And you have you ever heard somebody refer to Jesus as the only begotten son? It's a common expression based on 1 John 4, 9, which says God sent his only begotten son into the world. Certainly Jesus was God's only begotten son when he first sent him into the world, but he's no longer the only begotten. And this is what I want to really focus on tonight to share with you. <laughs> Jesus is not the only one in the family anymore. No. Romans 8, 29 says the reason Jesus came into this world was so that he could become the firstborn of many brethren. Hey, that's you. That's me. Aren't you excited about that? That's good news to know that we've the power of adoption. We've come into the family and we're in the family. Mm. I never knew about that. Never heard any preacher talk about that until later on in my Christian walk with the Lord. He could become the firstborn of many brethren. If Hebrews 2.11 says he's not ashamed to call us his brethren. I want you to think about that. Jesus is not ashamed to call us his brethren. Hello, brother. Hello, sister. He's not, oh, I'm embarrassed. You know, he's, he sings a little off key and, uh, you know, he walks a little funny or 
no way. No way. He doesn't do nothing. He's not ashamed of anything about you. He loves you. And he's not ashamed to call you his brother or your, his sister. Jesus is your big brother. And I want you to think about that. I know that it upsets that kind of talk, you know, it upsets some religious people of being reborn with God as your father and Jesus as your very own brother is what the good news is all about. That's what it's all about. And you're going to have to get over that religious ideologue, get over that religious and that tradition that's messing you up. Every time you have a mess up, every time you, you, you have trouble, every time you're going through this or going through that, it's because you're so religious. You know, Jesus never invited the religious to sit down and eat with him. It was his disciples that got to eat with him. And it was the heathen. Get out of that tree. You're going to my house today, you filthy tax collector. Well, he didn't say that, but that's David Wood's paraphrase. But it's like he avoided the religious folks like a plague. You know that? They're, they're the ones that are constantly, don't get me started on it. And so I know that kind of talk that Jesus, my big brother, that gets religious people upset. Oh, my dear brother, now don't get carried away. Oh, I've been carried away a long time ago, way before I met you. Not only that, Jesus is also our Lord, conqueror of death and hell and the grave, overcomer of the world and the flesh. And he did it. And he did it all for you and for me. I am so in love with Jesus today. If that was all, it would be more than enough. But that's not all he did. He also accepted God's appointment as high priest of our profession. The words of my mouth, the words of your mouth. Think about that. He accepted God's appointment. God appointed Jesus. See, in churches, certain ones can be appointed to pastor, appointed to bishop, appointed to this, appointed to that. God appointed Jesus as the high priest over my mouth. Whoo, glory to God. That gets me excited thinking about it. He has been appointed over my mouth. That's why I'm very, very choosy what comes out of my mouth. That's why I try my very best to think about what comes out of my mouth before I just blurt it out. <laughs> Sometimes. My mouth gets ahead of my brain. Have you ever had that happen before? Sure you have. Come on, be honest now. Jesus has been appointed as the high priest of my profession, my mouth. He then author, uh, authorized us. <laughs> Signed it on the dotted line. Authorization. Authorized you to speak his words. Oh, my Lord, my God, get a hold of this. By, by giving exceeding great and precious promises that cover every aspect of our life. Where? Both in heaven and in earth. Well, as we believe and speak those promises, the very throne of his grace is the guarantee that what we say shall come to pass. Oh, beloved, get a hold of what I'm saying tonight. This is what happens when Jesus becomes your elder brother. This is what happens when God is your father and you understand all God wanted from the beginning was a family. All he wanted from the beginning was you. And he wants your mouth to catch up to the appointment that God has appointed Jesus as the priest of your profession. And when God appointed Jesus as the priest of your confession, of your profession, that means you start speaking things out. Light be and light was. <laughs> I'm not talking about how God created the heavens and the earth and the light. I'm talking about how I had to talk these lights into existence. We got brand new lights around here. Looking good. Feeling good. I can preach and not pass out. Hallelujah. I'm not sweating like a racehorse. But I started professing it and professing it, and professing it, and Brother Jim professed it with me, and 
and and Joanne professed it with me, and and several others started profess. Why? Because Jesus became the high priest of our profession. Hey, we got to talk the way Jesus talks, and realize that Jesus authorized us to put those words in our mouth and start speaking them forward. I thank God for the testimony, the miracle testimony of Sabrina in in Olympia. She spoke the word and spoke the word and sowed the seed and spoke the word and stood on the word and went against all opposition, against all the people making fun of her. God blessed her with a car. I think about Tia. Tia, you're watching tonight. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And I think about how God took that part of your job away and promoted you to another part of your job. And the blessing of the Lord maketh you rich and addeth no sorrow to you. When God sees you're a seed sower, into good ground when he sees that your believer your belief system is turning over the soil planting the seed of god's word he'll get behind that he'll back that he'll, he'll authorize it he is jesus is the high priest of the profession that comes out of your mouth he's your elder brother he's standing there right by you he sent the holy spirit your paraclete not your parakeet your paraclete it's the greek word for standby it's the one who stands with you, and God is your father, and he's authorized Jesus to be the high priest over your lips, the high priest over your mouth, the high priest over your tongue. I need a high priest on my tongue, because let me tell you something. If I don't have a high priest on my tongue, I can talk to you. I can cut you down one way, down the next way, and around side the fillet you this way and fillet you that way, and you know it's true about your own tongue. Thank God when I got saved. I had to realize that my tongue had to get sanctified. I had to realize Jesus had to become the high priest <laughs> of my confession, of my profession. And God has authorized Jesus to stand on my tongue and to say, devil, you've got to go. You've got to loose my brother and loose my sister. Sickness and disease, I command you to go in the name of Jesus, and it has to obey me. Mountain, get out of my way. When you see a Christian at church saying, I'm just the hoping and the praying, brother, that's not a tongue that's been walking in the authorization of Jesus to become the high priest of the profession of your mouth. That's somebody that doesn't know, and you're surrounded by a bunch of them at church, and they don't know because they've never been taught. Not everybody's watching this program. Not everybody knows. There are some people that have been going to church for many years and do not know that God has authorized Jesus to be the high priest over your profession, over your tongue, your mouth, your lips, so that your mouth can get sanctified and it can line up in accordance with the word of God. And you can say to this mountain, be that cast in the sea, and it has to obey you. You can say to the sycamine tree, move hands forth, and it goes. You can say to the fig tree that's not bearing any fruit like cancer in the body, you die, you go. You can say to the fish, Get in my boat right now in the name of Jesus. You can multiply the loaves and the fishes. You can begin to believe God for his very best, but you've got to have Jesus as the high priest of your tongue. Oh, glory to God. I wish I had a clap button. I'd mash it right now. Give the Lord the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's good. Good preaching, Holy Ghost. I think I'll say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you're with me for the full time tonight. Every word that comes out of our mouth, let it be ordained. Let it be anointed. Let it not come back, return void, but let it accomplish the things that the Lord said it would do in Isaiah 55, verse 11. Yes. In addition to all of that, on top of, yes, wait, hold on, but wait, there's more. <laughs> You know, like they're selling knives on TV, right? Wait, that's not all. In the next, <laughs> there's really more. Here it is. Here's what's more. This is so powerful. This is so rich. This is so good for you. Get a hold of this, beloved. There's more. He gave us. He gave us. He didn't sell it to us. He didn't borrow it to us. He didn't say, well, these conditions. He gave us. His name, the name, not just any old name, not Harry, not Pete, not Tom, not David, not Jennifer, not Joanne, not, not just any old name, but he gave us the name 
that is above every other name, the name which has been given all authority. This is what the disciples were thrown into jail over, using the name. They said, you come into this city, don't you use that name around this town. You're tearing it up. You're turning it upside down. When you use the name of Jesus, lepers become healed. Dead people begin to uh, live again. Lame people begin to walk. Eyes, blind eyes open up. Deaf ears open up. You're using the name so much where our business of fortune telling and witchcraft is going broke. They're out in the streets burning what we're trying to sell. All because you use the name. You've been authorized. Think about it. God authorized Jesus to get on your mouth and become the high priest of your mouth. Jesus has authorized you to use his name. He gave you his name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. I've got victory in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. I'm on fire tonight. I'm ready to give hell trouble in your life. I'm ready to see heaven come down. I'm ready to see the Holy Ghost take new shape over your life. I felt the wind of the Holy Spirit. And I was praying earlier today for you. And I'm believing God to increase your territory. I'm believing God is going to increase and enlarge your territory. He gave you the name. The name which has been given all authority has been given to you. It's been given to me to use in faith and declare our redemption from the curse. Now listen, it's true. Curses can be in families. Curses can come down the generations. With you, it stops. I said with you, it stops in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. And the scripture says in Proverbs that a curse without cause shall not land on you. If it doesn't have a cause, if it doesn't have a reason, there's no way it's going to stay with you. It can't come with you. It can't stay with you. The blood, the blood, the blood is against every curse, and it's snapped off. It's broken off. Divorce is a curse. I break it off in the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease is a curse. I break it off in the name of Jesus. All kind, debt, debt is a curse. I break debt off of your life in the name of Jesus. So many curses of the law throughout the Bible, and the Bible identifies those curses, but I'm here to tell you tonight, that in the name of Jesus, he's authorized you to use that name. If you're a born again, child of God, blood bought, sanctified in the Holy Ghost, you're authorized to use the name of Jesus. Now I want you to practice it tonight. Say it out loud and say, Jesus, come on, say it. Jesus, save me. Jesus, use me. Jesus, fill me. Jesus, break and destroy every yoke of oppression from off my life. Say that out. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm curse free. Every curse from the law, every curse of the devil, every curse of sin has been broken from off of my life, and I'm curse free in the name of Jesus. I'm authorized to use the name of Jesus. Oh, I got so much more. I got so much more to tell you about. Hold on a minute. I I, got to shout for a moment. I got so much more. I got so much more. I wish some of your friends would get on board with me here tonight. I know there's a lot of people of you on a, is this a Wednesday night? Is this church night? I got so much more to share with you. I'm telling you, I'm ready to rip the devil's neck off. He'll no longer torment you. He'll no longer come against you. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord Save me. Come on, sing it with me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord, and he just didn't save me, brother. He authorized me to give hell trouble. (laughs) I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. 
If that had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. You got so much to thank God for. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Praise Him, praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him when the sun goes down. Come on, sing with me. Love Him, come on, love Him. I'm going to love Him in the morning, love Him in the noontime. Love Him. I'm going to love him. I'm going to love the Lord till the sun goes down. I'm going to praise him. Praise him. I'm going to praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noontime. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. I'm going to bless him bless him i'm gonna bless him in the morning bless him in the noon time bless him bless him i'm gonna bless him when the sun goes down i tell you some of you preachers lost the fire you lost the fire i won't tell you why you lost the fire because you forgot you thought you've been told about religious folks, about it, it's all up here. It's all what you learn, and it's not all what you learn. It's all how you burn. <laughs> it's not all what you learn, it's how you burn. How do you burn, brother? Once you get on the floor and you pray, let your prayer life bring resurrection power to your life, to your words. Understand that Jesus has been authorized to be the high priest of your profession. Your words. My Lord and my God, I feel miracle power tonight. And I'm standing on the word tonight. And the Lord Jesus spoke to my heart today. And he said, you tell every person that's watching and listening, you tell them that you are called and anointed to declare war on the devil's war. Are you hearing me tonight? He said, declare war on the devil's war. He said, tell my brother and tell my sister that war has been declared on debt in your life. Hey! Glory! I want that just to sink in. I got a lot more to say. I'm not at a loss of words. Don't get nervous. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Aren't you glad for it? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. You know, if it had not been for Jesus, where would I be if it had not been for Jesus? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Sing it with me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, I'll tell you where I'd be. I'd be in a I'd be in a human waste of hell on earth right now. Some people don't have to wait to get to hell. They're already in hell. Because they don't realize Jesus is the saving power. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Oh my, I'm so excited tonight. I'm excited because you got yourself a miracle coming. Uh-huh. All sickness, all disease, all debt, all destruction, all infirmity, all confusion, playing with your mind, divorce. I bind it up in the name of Jesus. I said I bind it up in the name of Jesus. 
I've been authorized. Jesus is the high priest of my confession. And I declare and I confess over your mouth and over your life that you're walking in freedom. You're coming into a new freedom in the glory of God. You're not going backwards. You're not going to come behind in any good thing. Uh-uh. Jesus is your rear guard. I know why people get jealous. I know why people get upset with me. I know why they call me names like weird and strange and different. Because I'm not concerned about my head knowledge. I'm concerned about burning, burning, burning for Jesus. And some of you preachers lost your burn. You lost your burn. Some of you haven't got up at six. You have not got up at six o'clock in the morning to pray since you were a teenager or in Bible school. You forgot how to weep between the porch and the altar. I'm not trying to be critical, but I'm a preacher of the gospel. And I don't just preach to pagans and heathens. I preach to lukewarm Christians. In the name of Jesus, with the love of God, I'm telling you, get back to your prayer life. Get back to the position of war. Take it back to the throne. Understand Jesus has been authorized to stand over your tongue as the high priest. And nothing should come out of your mouth unless it's been authorized by Jesus. He's your elder brother. He's the... My Lord and my God, this is good preaching tonight. I want you to get this in your spirit. You don't have to be a preacher to get this. You don't have to be a, a, a fanatic Christian to get this. You might just go to church on Easter and Christmas, but you're going to get this tonight because it changes everything in your life. It changes everything in your life. Where would I be? Where would I be? Joanne, where would I be? Jim, where would I be? Doris, where would I be? Kathy, where would I be? Rev, where would I be? Oh, my Lord and my God. I'm, I'm declaring a war cry in your life, Daniel. Pete, I'm declaring. Terry, I'm declaring. Elizabeth, I'm declaring. Al, I'm declaring. Ha! Huh. Wait a minute. I feel a second wave of the Spirit. Hey! Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. I got to praise Him. Come on, sing it. Praise Him. I'm going to praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. Before the rocks cry out, I'm going to be a praiser. Praise Him. I'm going to praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. Listen, Jesus has been authorized to be the high priest over your lips, over your mouth, over your tongue. And if you don't know that Jesus has been authorized to be the high priest over your tongue, your lips, and your mouth, then you got another one running your tongue. Either your old fleshly worldliness and the things you pick up in the world along the way, or perhaps even the snake in your garden. And let me tell you, there's more than one, beloved. There's more than one snake. Who is the snake in your... What is the snake in your garden? You better not get around that snake. You'll be talking like the snake. You better get around the high priest. Jesus. This is a word for somebody tonight. Jesus came to this earth to bring to us all of these mighty things. But again, that's not all. He also came to be a good friend. He's not a condemning friend. Have you ever had a friend and they condemn you? They judge you? They mistreat you? They, they abandon you when there's good, I mean, bad times and they're with you in the good times? Let me tell you, you start throwing money around, you'll have lots of friends. The moment you tell everybody you're broke, goodbye, friend. Not Jesus. He's not that way. Listen, he's never a tattletale. He's never a backstabber. He's someone you can talk to, someone to listen to. He loves you with a deep love that you've never imagined before. 
He not only gave himself for us at Calvary, he gave himself for us and to us, listen, forever, forever is longer than time. And he's talking about you right now. Right now, he's bringing your name, Daniel. He's bringing your name before God. Think about it. He ever makes intercession for you and for me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved you. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. And listen, if you're not saved, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. And I mean that with all sincerity. It's a very sad day if you're not saved by the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. If you don't know God as your father and Jesus as your elder brother and you're not saved, that's the saddest life. That's the saddest life is for somebody not to be saved, not to be born again. I want you to take a moment right now. I want you to Look up and tell Jesus how much you love and appreciate him. Come on, say, I love you, Jesus. Say, I really appreciate you. Come on, say it with some soul. Say it with some feel. I love you, Jesus. I appreciate you, Lord. Tell the Father how grateful you are for sending Jesus to you and redeeming your messed up life. Today, maybe even tonight, you could perhaps be still just for a few moments each day during the busy time of your life, during the busiest time of your life or busiest time even of the year, you could be still for a moment and you could call on him, Jesus, come on, call on the name of Jesus. Oh, I love the name that is above every other name. Come on, say the name. Jesus, I love you today. There's nobody else like you. You're the first thing every morning. You're the last thing every night. The loneliness goes from your presence. The death and the sorrow leaves you. The depression has to go. Sweep over my soul. When you minister to the Lord and you love the Lord, Lord, I love you today. From your innermost being, you think about these things, you talk about these things with the Lord. You know, I'm grateful. For your prayers towards me as a minister I'm very serious when I say that you pray for me you pray for my wife you pray for my children I could name you but there's too many and I and I love that about you is that very few people have one good person in their life and I've got I've got so many, I can't hardly count them. They're good to me. God sent you to me. God sent me to you and God sent you to me. And we may be scattered across the world, but I'm so glad that God sent you to me. Such a joy. Such a a beautiful thing when God gave me partners to stand alongside of me pray with me and me pray with you it doesn't get any more sweeter than that you know that it's true my rest is complete while I stay at Jesus feet Sweet spirit, sweep over, over my soul. Come on, sing it with me. Sweep over my soul, Jesus. Sweep over my soul. 
sweet spirit sweep over my soul I asked the Lord not long ago why is it that when I was ministering in Washington State the, with, in a building with no air conditioning a gentle wind blew through the sanctuary across over the people's heads and up on the platform and I didn't get an answer and then it would happen under the tent and I knew it wasn't there was no trees outside blowing there was no grass blowing it was just not even on the top of the tent underneath the tent I, I knew it was different wind often while I'm ministering on this radio broadcast I felt the wind and some of you have felt the wind the same wind at home that I'm feeling and it, it was a mystery to me for, for a little while and then I took it to the Lord and the Lord said to me son I've been blowing a long time He said, I blew on the waters of the deep during creation. And he said, I blew in the upper room. And he said, I'm blowing in your life. I see a cloud. I prophesy to you right now, reach out and take this. I see a cloud the size of a man's hand. And the gentle breeze of the Holy Spirit You've been in a land of famine. You've been in a time of famine. But he walks. Walks with you. And Jesus talks with you. And he tells me I am. I'm his own. And the joy, the joy, the joy. The joy, the joy that we share as we tarry there. None other, none other, none other joy has known. Mm. He speaks at the sound, at the sound of his voice. It's so sweet that the birds shh, hush their singing. Mm, my, 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 my. And the melody that he brings to me. Within my heart, he's singing. Come on, sing it with me. And he walks with me. And he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy. <laughs> The joy that we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. Father, I pray right now that my dear beloved that's watching and listening today would come to a great understanding, Lord that Jesus, you are not just Lord. You are our elder brother. We're in a family. We're in a family. And it's the family of God. Oh, I feel the presence of the Lord. The presence of Jehovah is here. And I feel his presence even now sweeping down into your home. 
and coming to your living room, coming into your dining room, coming into your bedroom, even into somebody's car tonight. The presence of Jehovah is so strong and he just longs for you to know him intimately, not just as Lord, but to know him as a brother and as a friend. I tell you, I'm just not a preacher right now. I'm burning. I'm burning. You may not be able to see it, but I can feel the burn of the Holy Ghost. And it's not under these lights either. Thank God it's cool and refreshing in here. Finally, got rid of those old lights. And, but I feel a different kind of burn tonight. <laughs> oh, pour it out, oh God. That's what people come to this program for. Not for another talking head, not for another personality, but for the fire to burn and to pour liquid love to drip down over them right where they are. Troubles vanish. Oh, yeah. Hearts are mended right now. That loss of that loved one Jesus, heal the heart that's broken in the prayer, the presence of a friend, of a brother, of a king. Can you imagine? Listen, the king of kings is not just your friend. That's good enough right there. But he's your brother. Man, that's tall cotton, as they say in Alabama. Mm. He's your friend. He's your brother. Eva. He's your friend. He's your brother. He, he's in covenant with you. Doris, he said he would never leave you. He would never forsake you. Kelsey, he's right there by your side giving you victory every step of the way that's right oh trip the fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost coming down afresh to renew you and give you his power and his glory and that fire that only heaven can bring that destroys yokes, removes the oppressions. Oh, I wish the whole world knew about what I know. In the presence. La, 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 In the presence of Jehovah. Burning with expectation of the Holy Ghost God Almighty oh yes oh yes light up my brother light up my sister right now I see those tears I see those tears coming down your face but I'm telling you right now as a man of God the troubles are vanishing from off of you the Holy Spirit reminded me of how of how Jesus spoke to me when I was a little boy. The first turn, first time I ever heard him talk to me. I must have been eight years old, maybe six or seven. And I heard him call my name. I didn't know who it was. I went down the stairs. I was supposed to be in bed asleep. Just like the Bible story, Eli. But I said, Mama, did you call me? She thought I was playing games. She says, you get back up there and get in bed. Oh, I still hear that voice. <sighs> I still feel the wind of the Spirit. This is not a show. This is a program where I expect the Holy Spirit to to destroy shackles and remove chains night after night. 
see where the mind of the spirit rules every disease has to fall off of you everything is coming up roses for you I declare it in the name of Jesus chains are breaking shackles are falling he's a delivering God Stacy he's a delivering God for you hey You're not supposed to feel this unless you feel it in the prayer room. Somebody said, nah, -uh. for this purpose is the Son of God manifest to destroy the works of the devil. I'm telling you, you can't keep a good man down. You can't oppress me, devil. I've, I'm full of the Holy Ghost. And I'm thinking about my partners. I'm thinking about my partners. I don't have them in here. I, I took them out in my chair. I was. I was interceding. I was calling. If you're my partner, I was calling your name out before the Lord, praying intensely in the Holy Ghost earlier, earlier this morning. Jesus, the Lord said to tell that one that lost somebody to death. He said, there's victory. It'll be a little while and we'll be with the Father. It'll be a little while be with the father it's not gonna be long the trump of god is gonna blow that which the prophets prophesied that's what jesus himself told us about and you better be ready you better have your sins though they be as scarlet they can be white as snow get them under the blood Sometimes I don't know what to do with a program like this. I, I, I knew it was going to be this way. I could feel an anticipation of the Spirit of God. Somebody's got joint pain right now. Joint pain. And the Lord is healing your, your joints. Healing your muscles. Come on, do what you couldn't do. Move around. Check yourself out. Twist, shout, move about, check it out. Come on. Twist, shout, move about, check it out. God's going to give you a miracle report tonight. I come against every dysfunction in your joints and in your muscles and in your bones. I come against that tiredness in your spirit. I command you to wake up in Jesus' name. Wake up to the fruits of the Spirit. Wake up to the gifts of the Spirit. Wake up to the fire of Pentecost in your life. Oh, yes. Oh yes, this is holy ground. I can feel the holiness of God. I can feel the expectation. I can feel the assuredness in your spirit. I can feel right there where you are. You're thinking about what is God going to do now? What is he going to do next? And God's got so much in store. God's got so much planned for you. Let the fire and the glory of God come down upon that one right now. It's got that pain in his body. In your joints. There it comes. There it comes. Shh. Melody, I speak peace to your mind. I speak the healing power of God over you. The, the thorn of sorrow can no longer stay with you. In the name of Jesus, I see only the Lord can, can bottle up your tears. Oh, Melody, how many times my wife and I prayed for you and cried with you we understand that Jesus is the greatest healer and I know you do too even when all hell is camped around you you feel like you've been on the firing line Tony you feel like you've been on the firing line with your physical body but I declare greatness to come surge through your body right now right now right where you're sitting the greatness of God to surge and flow through the chambers of your heart, the rhythm of your heart, the electrical impulses of your heart in the name that is above every other name. Daniel, this is holy ground. Pete, God is getting ready to shift you into higher gear. A second, Pete from Michigan. I hope you're watching because the Spirit of the Lord said to me when I prayed for you earlier, 
There is a second river, a second flow of revenue getting ready to come into your life because you're a seed sower and God saw it. You weren't stingy on God. Elizabeth, I see God is going to shift you into a into a category you're not used to. You're going, I see you with a pen in your hand and you're going to sign documents and it's going to be legal in the land and you're going to see God use you in an area that you've not been used before. As I walk through the door, I sensed his presence. Oh, yes, I did. And, and I knew this was the place where love abounds. We're family in here, you know. We're family. For this is his presence. Jehovah God abides here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we are standing in God's presence on holy ground. We had so many issues bring up technically yesterday and we were only able to come an hour and a half, which is what most people, YouTube tells me, that's what most people do. They, In our case, it's unusual, and most people watch 10 minutes. We have the majority of our people stay with me an hour and a half. Can you believe that? What a blessing. YouTube tells me we're very unique and differently. People aren't just coming in here for 10 minutes. They're staying an hour and a half. I'll tell you why because somebody's willing to burn. <sighs> somebody's willing to get on their face and pray. I'll praise Jesus now. Jesus, you're my elder brother. You're the king of kings. You're the Lord of lords. You're my friend. We are standing. Dean in, there he is, right there, right there with us, right there. Jesus is with us right now. Whatever needs you have, this is the time. God has spoke to my heart in prayer. It was last Friday. He said, yeah, I'm going to give you thousand partners I don't know how many we have right now he said I'm going to give you a thousand new partners and he said on those partners lives he said I'm going to empower you with a fresh anointing to declare an all out victory assault campaign against debt poverty sickness disease sin curses he said, I've commanded the victory campaign to be released in your voice over the people of God with a fresh anointing and a new wave of the glory of God. Some of you are going to see things you've never seen before. Some of you baby Christians, you've never seen what you're about to see. It's going to shock some of you. It's going to, it's going to come right into your living room and you're going to say, I didn't know God did that. <laughs> oh yeah and so much more I was thinking about how he took the boys loaves and fishes and I noticed a lot of people been I popped in on Joanne's Bible study today and I noticed she was talking about it. I said my lord my god we never talked and she's talking about what I'm talking about tonight the loaves and the fishes how wouldn't you love to Oh, wouldn't you love to see that? I, I wonder, my imagination, you know, I like my imagination to play into, into the stories that I read. 
and I see a basket. Were, were those fishes dead? Were they just barely alive? Were they still, you know, gilling? <laughs> were they fried? Nobody wants to eat a raw fish. It must have been fried. The boy had a lunch. But the point is, is that did Jesus take it and take it from one basket and dump it to the next? And then when he lifted it up, there's more. And then it, another, and a, and another, and, and, and bread, bread. Daily bread is the key, preachers. In 1999, the Spirit of the Lord, I asked him, I said, why would you allow a revival in Portland, Oregon? I suppose if it was in Florida, it would have been reported in the news media, but it wasn't. It was off here at the edge of the cliff of the world, you know. A, a town that declares themselves to be weird and wants to stay weird. I said, why would you have me to perform and preach and minister a revival that lasted 360 nights? Over $1 million ran through my hands for the work of the gospel. Not for my greed, not for my lust, not for me, for the gospel's sake. Why would you want me to go night after night after night, 15,000 name cards? Everybody, I asked the Lord some serious questions and I drove down every night, seven o'clock, that's revival time, you know. And the spirit of the Lord said, son, I've called you to daily bread not weekly and in order to be having daily bread flow through your life you're gonna have to let the holy ghost fire burn through you i feel him burning right now he's gonna burn through you tony I've got you on my mind, my brother. The fire of God burns through your body. Terry, I've, God's got you on his mind. He burns through your body and through your mind. The fire of the Holy Ghost! I'd wish you ignore ignore the dead preachers i wish you would ignore jesus said don't give to the the bible says rather the old testament says don't give unto the dead that means ignore the dead you don't give unto dead things you give unto something that's burning full of life full of power full of victory a lot of people don't know that a lot of people have never been told that and jesus said to me and it really just deflated my ego a little bit probably needed it needed to be deflated yours does too mine does too we all need our ego deflated he said the people are not coming because you've got such a tremendous word don't get so high on yourself oh that'll just give you a real strange feeling in the pit of your soul but you need to be told that I said, what are they coming with for, Lord? He said, they're coming to watch you burn. Everybody comes to watch somebody burn in the Holy Ghost. And they want some of that. And you're going to get some of that in Jesus' name. I declare it. Lift your hands up. Point your hands toward that device. Lift your hands toward that television screen. Put your hand on that radio. I declare in the name of Jesus. The burning fire of the Holy Ghost to come over you right now where you are. And you'll never be the same. I said you'll never be the same. It's God's victory that's on you. He's made you to be a champion, not a worm. He's made you to be a trailblazer, not a pathfinder. So many religious people got worm theology. Or worse yet, grasshopper theology. It's okay to be a grasshopper. You haven't read the Bible then. You're reading too many men's books. Start reading the Bible. The B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. The Holy Ghost power that flows through the word. The Holy Ghost will never teach your church, your ministry, or your 
pastoral ministry to be a grasshopper. Never. You're a giant killer. You're a devil chaser. You're not a pathfinder. You're a trailblazer. You're a champion for God. But only if you burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now let me tell you about this victory campaign that God has put on my heart. It's time for you to shake the shackles that have bound you in the past. Come to the place where you're not sure exactly where to go next or what to do next. It's bound you. It's kept you stagnant. It's kept you held down to where you don't even know how to move forward. The Holy Spirit is commanding over your life of freedom and a victory. That demon power of debt is coming off your purse and coming off your wallet. That devil of infirmity is coming off of your body. That demon of addiction has to be broken in the name of Jesus by the blood and declare it. I'm declaring war against the devil's war and I'm burning hot from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, not because of lights, but because of the anointing. 6 7 years old I heard the voice of the Lord David Sometimes I still hear it Sometimes I'm clear out doing something and I'll hear that word I'll hear that voice and I'll think why is it clear out there Jesus is close to me Sometimes he'll say you got off the path You got off the path get over here close to me Mm and I'd just be transparent with you and tell you like it is. If some of you got off the path. Some of you got far from Jesus. You got so far from him, you can't, you can't hear his voice anymore. You can't see him anymore. You can't hear him anymore. Six, seven years old, I come down to my mom. My mom, did you call me? No, get upstairs, go to bed, she said. I'd go in my little fuzzy pajamas. Aren't you glad you don't have to wear those no more? You're like you're trapped in a gunny sack. Heard it a second time. Came down, Mama, I heard you call my name. She started to scold me, and then the Holy Spirit spoke to my mama. Thank God for a mom full of the Holy Ghost. I would have never had a chance. The Holy Spirit said, "Next, tell him next time he hears that voice to answer to Jesus. Say, what do you want, Jesus? third time the voice came David what do you want Lord I remember getting up out of my bed going into the hallway there was a big mirror in the hallway attached to the wall I said what do you want Lord before I headed down the stairs one more time I said what do you want Lord what do you want Jesus and I was so amazed at what I heard. Simple, kind, tender voice. He said, if you ever need some food or drink, I've got it for you. And you'll never run out. Well, you can look at me and say, He's been doing real well with me. Hallelujah. I went back to sleep, fell to sleep like a baby and never forgot that. I was six, year, six, seven years old. I'm 53 this August. I've been young and I've been old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed out begging for bread. Child of God, that's the Jesus I'm talking about. He's your friend. He's your Lord. He's your king. But he's your elder brother. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! 
Jesus, Jesus, blessed Jesus, oh, for grace to trust in Him. Jesus, Jesus, how I love Him, how I prove Him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, blessed Jesus, oh, for grace to trust in Him. <laughs> I want you to hear the voice of Jesus. I want you to hear Jesus' voice tonight. In the middle of your night, there's a Christian nightlight beaming yeah, with good not news from 1,149 feet in the air, piercing the darkness with a bright ray of hope no, you from won't. the tallest freestanding observation the tower of the, of the United States, breaking the bondage of temptation by who? How I prove... Let me... Hold on. Let me make sure we got everything right here. In the middle of your night, Jesus, there's a Christian nightlight Jesus, beaming the good news from 1,149 feet in the air, piercing oh, the darkness with a bright ray of hope from the tallest freestanding observation tower in the him. United States, breaking the bondage of temptation by booming down. Mm -mm. Come on, pray. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. You will not mess with this signal tonight in the name of Jesus. You know, switchers are not supposed to move on their own. You see, the program is not supposed to play the opening unless I tell it to play in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? There's no button on that switch. Mm -mm. Somebody's getting the victory tonight. I told you. I'm declaring a victory campaign against the enemy that's tried to come against you. And the devil doesn't like that. He hears those words and he takes it very serious. But I bind up the oppressor. I bind up the devil in Jesus' name from off of your life. I declare war on the devil's war. I declare war on your life, over your life. The victory comes to you, comes to you right now in Jesus' name. hear the Lord saying that you're not only going to get out of debt, but you're going to stay out of debt. That doesn't mean you'll never have anything. No, 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 no. It means thank God by his grace. We'll be all sufficient in all things. Now I declare that over you in the name of Jesus. You will be all sufficient in all things. I'm still burning. I'm still burning. There are some principles in God's word that will help you in your thinking. I declare increase. Every decision in your life creates increase or decrease. You've got to get that in your spirit. While I'm at it, devil, you get off our phones in the name of Jesus. You get off our internet, you get off our phones, you get off the switcher, the blood of Jesus. God never intended for the body of Christ to be bound to the world and it's to, to its financial ups and downs. He never intended us for us to look to the world to meet our needs. 
That was not God's intention, and neither is it in his intention now. He intended for the world to come to Jesus through us, the believer, to get their needs met. Instead of our going to them with our hat in the hand, bowing before them to borrow according to their terms. That is not God's will. Are you hearing? No way. No way. That's not the Jesus way. The Jesus way is found in Deuteronomy 28. Let, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to give this to you. And even if you've heard it before, even if you've heard it before, it's going to be changing in your life. Thank you, Lord. I felt such victory just now. Thank you, Jesus. Are you feeling the victory that I'm feeling right now? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? Oh, yeah. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. The good treasure of God opens up to you. The treasure chest. Honey, he's loaded. He's your brother is loaded. He's financially well off. There's not a need that he doesn't ever have. And by the way, he walks in the framework of newness. His mercies are new every morning. Everything about Jesus is new. There's no corruption. There's no decay in the land of Jesus. He's not getting old. He's not flaking with his skin. It's not falling off. His hair is not falling out. There's no corruption, no decay in the world of God. And it shouldn't be in your life either. Let me read this scripture to you. I've got to get this to you while I'm burning. Oh, yeah. Where could we go but to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where could I go? Where could I go? Needing for my soul. Needing a friend to help me in the end. Where? Could I go but to the Lord? Listen, somebody said, why don't you get on their show or why don't you get on that show or this show? And I've come to the point, place in my life where I don't, I'm not, I'm not pressing to get popular with anybody. I'm just pressing to, all of America is going to hear about the anointing that's burning with me. The Lord showed that to me years ago. And the devil hates it. And man doesn't know what to think about it. But those that are spiritual minded love it and can't get enough of it. And because it's been burning with me since I was little. And it's still, he's still burning in me. I got to get this scripture out to you. <laughs> Deuteronomy said, somebody said, where is it? Deuteronomy 28, 12 and 13. The Lord is going to open his good treasure. He's going to open the heaven to give the rain unto your land in his season. And he's going to bless all the work of thine hand. Everything you set your hand to, he's going to bless it. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Verse 13, here it is. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Thou shalt be above only Thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. Glory to God. Listen, God's way is for us to look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He's the head of the church. He's the head of our supply. 
To do that, we must turn to his word and find out his ways and then walk in them. My wife and I have been endeavoring to walk in the word concerning our finances for many years now. We've seen some rough, tough times. But we've seen the glory of the Lord and experienced his salvation, his joy, his peace, his love, his healing. Praise God. I've declared debt freedom over you. I declare the same debt freedom that's over my life is over your life. And even though there's been bad news so far this year, I declare you're coming out of debt. Oh, yes, Lord. Need enough friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Let me take some phone calls tonight. Number that is there on your screen coming up here and it's uh it's going to go through our regular uh landline and it won't go through the radio system but i think i can put you on speakerphone and and we'll see how it goes tonight taking your call hopefully it'll go okay praise god let me just take a moment to take your call tonight there it is 888-701-4483 you want to hit extension 802 that'll put you right in here to be with me. I felt the burning of the Lord tonight, and I know that you're feeling it tonight. You and Jesus, your friend and brother, declaring war over your situation. Oh, Jesus, we love you tonight. I'll wait for you. I'm going to wait for your call. It might take a little while to cycle through our call system but I'll wait for you. Some of you have been with me for an hour and a half now and that's not a time to leave. Just stay with me. Stay with me. He's going to buy our pardon. Thank God for it. An empty grave is there to prove that my Savior he lives Oh, yes, he does. Because he lives. <laughs> Joanne is in Lexington. She's on the floor. Can't get up. Drunk in the spirit. I can face tomorrow. I understand, Joanne. I'm burning. I'm burning with the fire of God. Because he lives. All the fear. All the fear is gone Because I know Yes, I know He holds He holds your future And life is worth Worth all the living Thank you, Jesus just because he lives, I can feel that fresh anointing. I can feel that fire in this place. God sent his son, Jesus. Although he was his only begotten son now, he's a brethren of many. You're in the family if you're born again. If you're not born again, if you're not saved, there's no declaration over your life if you're not walking with God. If you're not walking with Jesus, if your life is not hidden in Christ, there's no declaration of victory in your life. That's a sorrowful, pitiful, sad condition for you to walk in. I wouldn't walk in this wrecked world, a confused world, without knowing Jesus. It would be a helpless, hopeless situation. And I've got to know him intimately. An empty grave is there. To prove my Savior Jesus lives forevermore. Because he lives, I can 
face tomorrow. I'm waiting for your call because he lives live with you tonight on a church night. All fear, all fear is gone because because I know Yes, I know He holds My future He holds your future, Wayne Doris, he holds your future I know, I know, I know He lives and he He ever lives to make intercession He burns within me I'm holding this phone Thank you, Jesus, for that one that's going to call for prayer tonight. That one that's going to call because they they felt the presence of the Lord. Listen, don't wait for Joanne to call. She's on the floor. She is knocked out under the power of God. I'm going to take your call tonight. Doris, I'm, I'm hoping that this works tonight from Henderson, Kentucky. I'm glad you called tonight. What's on your mind, uh, Sister Doris? Yes, I've been enjoying this. It's so powerful. Yes. And, um, I just, I just, <laughs> I don't know where to begin. I, uh, I found the bank has let me know that I have a, a bank account that I don't know I had. Wow. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, I've given them time. You know, I, I told them, I said, I don't know anything about this account. I don't know anything about this money. And I waited, and I didn't say any more to them about it. And then when I went the other day to get some paperwork done, they told me again, and they were going to give me a printout on all the, the accounts I needed for Tommy's you know, nursing home thing. Yeah. So anyway, um... This was one of them. And so I just, I, I said, well, praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it, it's got over $700 in it. My. And I don't, I don't, and it's in my name only. It's not Mr. and Mrs. It's not something that Tommy opens without me knowing, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, mine. It's a miracle, and Doris. I, I, God just blessed that. I thought about uh, the night that you said one one one, yeah, and the man that was at the exit one one one, and and um, you asked us to sow that seed of one one one, and I did, and um, that's what comes back to me. I feel like that this is just a blessing from the Lord, and I praise God for it. it it's more than a blessing from the Lord, Doris. It, it's more than that. It's it's harvest. Attached to the supernatural, the miraculous power of God. Joanne, she's on the floor right now, passed out in the Holy Ghost, but she can tell you that the angels of the Lord have miraculously deposited $100 bills in her purse. And I totally believe that if the Lord can do that, <laughs> he can miraculously open up a miraculous account with not 600 not 200, not 900, but seven, seven, right. the number of God's perfection in your name. Oh, how he loves you, Doris. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, I'm just uh, almost beyond words, uh, the inability to speak. So I'm sorry. I, I'm having a little trouble just talking because I just filled up with emotions just thinking about his goodness yeah. uh, to me and uh, and to all of his children uh -huh. he's just a great big wonderful good <laughs> God. his love for us and, goes beyond our capacity to comprehend one one preacher i heard said the height the depth the width the breadth the length is way beyond our capacity to discover his love Yes, it is. Wow, Doris, he's watching over you. 
So I just wanted to share because, uh, you know, I, I know that people need encouragement in this day and time. They need to hear what God's doing right now. And I'm, and I'm, our lives. I'm just going to pray God will double up on it. He'll just double it up. Next time you go back, <laughs> he'll just start blessing you and blessing you and blessing you even more. And you'll say, look at God. Yes. i tell you what, um, they, the uh, VA has done some studies, or at least doctors have done some studies, and they have decided that this dementia thing is often caused by um, the military, the, like for instance, the ringing in the ears yeah. uh, from, the art- from the artillery mm. can actually uh, damage their, their brain and um, well, some have actually lost their mind because of that ringing in their ears. Yeah. And so there are men there in, in the VA where Tommy stays that uh, are there free because of this because they don't have it really proven it's just it could have been yeah yeah it could have been caused by that Uh and i uh the man that signed me up filed for this for tommy yes yes he said all they can do is say no and he said we're going to file for it and um, they may want to do some tests on him and um I got a letter from them saying they do want to uh, want him to see a, a doctor. Um, that doctor will be calling me and set up an appointment. And so, you know, I don't know how <laughs> I've had a little trouble with this because I I never thought of it being caused by the VA and it I mean by the military. And if it is, and if it's right for me to have it, I want it. I mean, I need it. Yeah, not only that, it would explain, Doris, why the Lord moved him out of your home to where he is. You see, this Tommy's a righteous man. He loves the Lord, and, and the Lord is directing his steps. Even if he's incapable of thinking with his own mind, the Lord has guided his steps right to where he is. And, and even as painful as it is, as hard as it was, I believe God's got him right there where he's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And they love him there. That is that is such an amazing thing. Instead of becoming mean, he has become actually so sweet. Yeah, of course. So easy to take care of. I believe that. And, and the love of Jesus just oozes out of the pores of his skin. And they recognize this. And, I mean... Whatever Tommy wants, he gets. Yeah. He is well taken care of. Wow. And uh, so, yes, he has favor there. It's actually what I'm trying to say. He has favor. And I know that favor comes from God. Yeah, that's right. I can see the, see the Lord in him, and they see it. And, um, it's, you know, they just they told me they wish they were all like him. Because some of them <laughs> are... Very mean, <laughs> yeah. Really mean, and uh, get physically mean with them. And yeah. uh, Tommy, so far, has never shown any sign of that. So anyway, yes, when you pray, pray that, that nothing will hit block that. If if that's right for me to have that, or for Tommy to have that, that God just make it go smooth and without any hitches. Yes, and I mean, Doris, I was with you, and the Lord said. Great favor was coming to you. Do you remember me saying that to you? No. It's just at, at uh, the Duncan's church. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. The, I, was, I okay. stood in the aisle and prayed over you, and the Lord said extreme favor was coming. And I, I couldn't understand how that could fit with your situation with Tommy. That's how I remember it. Because in my mind, I would have prayed something different, but it came out prophetically. Great favor is being released unto you. From, from I use the word from unexpected places. Yes. And your seed, your seed has opened up the door, and favor 
has certainly poured out in unexpected places. And the best is yet to come. I believe that. And they're going to find hidden things. Everything that's hidden shall come to the light. For Tommy's sake. For Doris's sake. Right there in the name of Jesus. Devil, you get your hands off of them. You loose them and let them go. And I thank you, Father, for the blessing of the Lord that's all over them. Make the way. Pay the bills. I declare victory over their finances, Lord, in Jesus' name. I declare it, Lord, they're seed sowers, they're tithers and givers, Lord. And I stand in the place of intercession, loving people in the spirit. And I thank you, Father, for victory that comes. This is not the last call. This is not the final report. The best is yet to come, Doris. You're going to see it with your own eyes. Oh, praise God. I praise just, Jesus. I'm just thank, thanking the Lord tonight. This is a miracle breakthrough for you. And if Jesus can put money miracle in Joanne's purse, miracle money in her purse, and, and if he can put a open up a bank account and put $700 in it that you have no idea where it came from in your name, Jesus can do it for those that are watching and listening tonight. Amen. Amen. Father, I lift up Doris. I lift up Tommy to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray right now, victory comes on every side. Victory comes on every side. And the devil's defeat is big in their life. And the Holy Ghost's victory is greater. I will bless the Lord. Hold on, Doris. Oh, my soul. And all. Bless his holy name. We bless you tonight, Lord. We bless you tonight, Lord. You said, Lord, you would open up your good treasure. Pour it out upon Tommy and, and Doris, Lord. Pour it out, Lord. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Father. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Doris, declare right now, say the best is yet to come. I believe it. Oh, I, yes, believe I, it. Believe it. I believe it. I love you, sister. God bless you. Thanks for calling. That made my night tonight. Made my night. Well, thank you. I will bless the Lord. <laughs> oh, my soul. And all. All that is within me. Bless his home. Can you imagine? The bank comes up to you and tells you you got another account over here. It's been sitting here. It's in your name and it's got an extra $700 in it. And you don't know where it came from or how it opened up or how it got there. That's God. I will bless the Lord. He said he would open up his good treasure to you. <laughs> I know Doris, I know Tommy. They're just like you. They're just like me. God, I pray that faith, faith increases in my brother. Faith increases in my sister right now. Lord, if you multiply the loaves and the fishes, you're going to, we are in the end times. This should not be shocking. This should not be shocking. This is going to begin to happen to people. People that have faith. People that can believe. People that understand Jesus is the high priest of their profession he has done he has done great things <laughs> oh yes he has Jesus you've done great things come on lift your hands and just love him right now oh yes Jesus you're doing great things right there in Shreveport praise God Right there in Las Vegas or Phoenix, praise him. Right there in Charlotte, praise him. Right there in Florida, praise him. Come on, those of you in Iowa, those of you in Michigan, praise him. If you're in Washington or California, praise him. I will bless the Lord. Oh yeah, hallelujah. Oh my soul. is 
is within me bless his whole I feel the fire of God gonna burn on you right now somebody's got something wrong with your foot and God is healing your foot right now the healing power of God is coming over your foot right now in the name of Jesus the healing power of God comes upon your feet the healing power of God he has done he's done great things he's doing it now in your life Whoa. see he's doing great things I will bless you Lord he he's doing great things bless his Oh, come on, child of God. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Come on, preacher. Bless his holy name. Come on, Sunday school teacher. Bless his holy name. Come on, deacon. Bless his holy name. Come on, child of God. Bless his name. I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul and all. within me today today about three o'clock this afternoon the lord said tell that one tell that one that's listening that the goats are about to exit your life <laughs> oh i said lord what does that mean he said tell him he said the goats are about to exit their life and the goats are everything that comes in your life that kicks kicks against the vision of God but this and but that they kick and they butt everything God's perfect will is in your life they start kicking on it I declare right now in the name of Jesus the goats are exiting out of your life God is hurting him up rounding him up and he's pushing him out of your life and the only thing that's going to be around you now is the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want ha <laughs> ha glory from Kentucky to Michigan hi caller what's on your mind our phones are down but we're using this tentative phone tell us what's on your mind tonight praise the Lord I feel the anointing tonight oh so do I brother I'm taking can't feel my arms and this is Brother Alex, right? Yes, it is. Brother Alex, I have felt the fire of God all through tonight's program. And all I can say is, wow, for what he has for the people. I want more. I want more and more and more. I want more. It, it, it takes a while. <laughs> yes, yes. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory is right. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. I can't feel this. I can't want this. I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> that's right yeah that's right but the glory of God come on everyone watching and listening tonight Alex uh, there's been um, I love confirmation of the Lord so it is just it's things that, that there's nothing wrong that can lay down your heart throughout the what not but when, when it can lay down your heart and days later it, it goes back and it gets repeated from somebody else and we have no idea that it was laid on your heart oh, how awesome is that yeah Songs, the conversations that I've been having, the songs that I've been playing. To, oh, oh geez. <laughs> it's real communion. See, we don't need juice and bread, really. I mean, we that is a, a part of part of what we do. But communion is deeper than just the elements. You know, it's and you're in communion with the Lord. Singing the song of the Lord with him. Talking with him. Loving him. Let him talk with you. Let him sing with you. I love fellowship with the Lord, don't you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I wanted to get some testimonies tonight over what's transpired in, in my life and how the, the Lord, we have an on-time, we have an on-time God. An on-time God, that's right. All the time, from the time from the, when, when, our, when our son was being born, we're wondering where is this going to come in or what that's going to come in. We stood and 
I was told by a, a evangelist at the time that I was waiting, and I, I kept talking, and then he, uh, he preached on when Moses, before Moses quit the Red Sea. Yes. Some are like, we should run, we should fight, we're going to die, and the Lord just said, wait. 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 Oh, that was so powerful. Yeah. Just wait. Be quiet, be still, and wait. Uh-huh. I, I said, okay, Lord, I, I got it. I got it. And I just got done reading it. I just got about done reading that position of the Bible a week earlier. It didn't even dawn on me. Beautiful. When it came back. So I said, okay, Lord, I'll buy it and I'll wait. He delivered us. Yeah. He delivered us. He wanted us to move from one house to the next. I said, Lord, I don't know how we're going to do that. I don't have funds to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He took a home, which everybody said wouldn't sell for what it sold for. It sold. Mm. It was home. Um, Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold, hold on, hold on. I got to bless the Lord. And all, I will bless the Lord and all that is within me. <laughs> Put you in a new home. Bless his holy. We bless your holy name, Lord. You put Alex in a new home. What's the rest of the story, Alex? What happened next? Gave us, gave us moved us into the new home to bless us with a business in the home, and, but it was delayed in getting started. Um, which, again, made us go back to the Lord with, all right, Lord, we need you. <laughs> we yeah, need yeah, you. And, right. And again, I remember the first time. I remember the first time. Don't shout, don't cry, don't complain. Just get on your knees, get on your face, pray, have the confidence so that the Lord's going to provide. Yeah, see, instead of going to the bank, you went to the great treasure of heaven. You went to Jesus, your elder brother, your best friend, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, you went to him. And he he loves that, you know. Alex, he loves that. What happened then? And he, he, he delivered again. He, he never let us down. And he's not going to let us down. That's right. Well, now, now I've, I've, I've come to a realization for one from listening uh, from you, from uh, just hearing the Lord what he does and uh now i now i just ask and i ask and i ask and i've been asking for favor more favor favor yeah. favor about favor about favor and he's been pouring it out pouring it out pouring, uh-huh. out, pouring it out i want more <laughs> i want more yeah I yeah favor. i want more favor i wake up every day uh, you know one of, one of the prayers is i want your favor lord i want your favor i want your face upon me i want your favor in what i do i want you I want your favor in my finances. I want your favor in my family. I want your favor in my marriage. Uh-huh. I want your very favor for my, my comings and goings. And he says, okay. And he, he's born it. He's born it. And I know there's going to come a time <laughs> that the Lord's going to ask a favor of me. You know, you know Alex, I want to stop you right there and tell you. The free-flowing favors of God, it doesn't have to be begged for. And that's what you've discovered you don't have to beg him for the favor of God. It just flows into your life. And i got a scripture for you. Psalms chapter 5, verse 12. It says he encompasses about the righteous with a shield of favor. And you are the righteousness of, you are made to be the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, you are shielded in a 360 degree, like you're living in a bubble of favor. And there's no way, there's no way that you can ever try to return the favor for him because he, I mean, it's fun to try, but you'll never outgive God. He always wins in that little game. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> I know you know that, but you're, in, you're encompassed with a shield of favor, Alex. And every believer that's washed in the blood of the Lamb is walking in that bubble. Psalms chapter 5, verse 12. They can look it up. And it becomes a reality in their life. It's a beautiful testimony. Sometimes when we have a testimony like that, Alex, all we can do is bless the Lord. All we can do is praise Him, you know? That's really what all He wants from us anyways, because nothing that I have is good enough for Him. You know? Everything he has is brand new and abundant. Everything I have is kind of world worn. <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. And so 
get done. I just thank the Lord for his favor in my life and in your life. And I thank him that through the blood of Jesus, we are made worthy. We are worthy oh, yeah. because of the blood. And he showed me something tonight. He showed me, the Lord showed me something tonight. Whether you've heard it before, if you've seen it before, but when, when, you, when you hear it and you feel it, and you feel it in that form, that smile, that joy that the Lord gives to us, um, his table, the <laughs> Lord's table, <laughs> the Lord's table. The best. Yeah. Oh, I love to see that. Oh, yeah. For those out there that are hearing and they're doubting, just people that come into the program, they hear, they doubt, they have their things, the devil attacks their mind. There's a seat for you. There's a seat for you. That's right. At the table. The table is never too small. Yeah. And there's always an open seat. It's not a seat with crumbs. It's not a seat with crumbs. It's a seat with a four course meal on it. Aha. That's it. A four? That's my kind of meal, a full course meal on it. The table of the Lord. He's calling. He's calling. That's beautiful. To sit at his table. To sit at his table. Yes. At his feet. There's no better joy. I'm, I'm to the point of tears right now. There's no better joy than to sit at his table. That's right. And to worship at his feet. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Father, I thank you for Alex tonight. I thank you for this family. Lord, you gave him a beautiful home. But Lord, you're even going to give him a bigger home. You're going to bless him with more. More and more and more. You're the God of more than enough. Not just enough, but more than enough. Pour it out upon Alex like he's never seen before. And let all the heathen, let all the backsliders, let everybody around him take a look from a distance and say, how did he get that? How did he How did he arrive there? And he, you're going to say, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Alex, I love you. I love your wife. You bless me every time you call me, and I appreciate your call. You call me again, okay? I bless you. I love these calls, and I love my partners, and I love you. Can you lift your hands to heaven? Come on, tell the Lord how much you love him tonight. Hallelujah. He, Jesus is doing big things for you, for me. Jesus, he's doing big things. Let me tell you, he's doing big things for you. Jesus! Bless his holy, oh, bless his holy name, bless his holy name. Come on right there, beloved. Praise the Lord. Bless him. You're in church tonight. You've got the fire of God flowing on you. Sing it. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Come on, sing it to him. Oh, my soul and all. within me bless his whole some of you haven't been in church like this in years in years in years and it's the fire of God you said Lord did we lose it did we lose no 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 it takes a man who will stand in the gap who will get on his face before the Lord in the daytime in the morning time I will bless the Lord let the fire of God that's upon me come upon you right now the fire of God come upon you. Jesus is doing great things, even in the middle of a pandemic, even in the middle of wars and rumors of wars. Jesus is doing great things. Bless his holy, righteous, priceless, matchless name, the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Come on. Declare the victories of the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. I will bless the Lord. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I don't know if I can share this. I don't know if I can tell you. I'm not sure if you can handle the deep things of God, the mysteries of the Spirit. I don't know if you can handle it. One day I'd been prayed up so much, prayed, praying and praying and praying, Brad. But praying in the Spirit so long and so much. And my wife came in and said, my Lord and my God. She said, your face is transparent. It's it's glowing with the Spirit of God. Can you handle that? I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. <sighs> Moses, just like Moses, just like so many somebody's being healed of extreme pain in their fingers Joanne from Lexington Kentucky you're drunk in the spirit I'm sure yes 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 oh my goodness I got up and left where I could talk are you still on the floor or were you able to make it to a chair <laughs> oh, I know you're drunk in the spirit, Joanne, but you're going to have to speak up. I can't move the phone up any higher tonight. <laughs> heavy. It's heavy. There's a heavy flow of the spirit tonight. You know, Joanne, I, I told the Lord I don't want to just come to be a talking head. I want the anointing to exude from this program. We'll minister to lives of people. There are people watching on YouTube that don't even go to church. There are people that are watching on YouTube that aren't even born again. They're not even saved. But they feel something different that they've never felt before. There's people from around the world in other countries that have never felt what they're feeling right now. It's the free-flowing power of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit that still sets men and women free if they'll yield to his anointing. You know about that. Jim knows about that. We know about it. But oh, I want so many. I want to take thousands of people with me to heaven. I want thousands and thousands to go with me into the glory, into the secret chamber of the Holy Spirit to where when they come out, they're on fire from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. They come out a changed woman. They came out a changed man. Anybody can be an ordinary common man. Anybody can be an ordinary common woman. But can you be in his glory? Can you be in the presence of Almighty God? To where your face glows and you, you burn because you know you've been in the secret place of the Lord. That's what this time is all about, Joanne. Hallelujah.
Thank you. Hallelujah. It's a feeling like no other, Joanne, and I I just love the presence of the Lord. And although I've been live for two hours, his spirit has been flowing. There's nothing like capturing the anointing of the Holy Spirit on these videos. You'll be able to play them back and all I can say is fire, 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 fire of God fall upon you right now. Fall upon you right now. In the name. Come on, bless his name, church. Bless his name, people of God. He is doing great things. Hallelujah. Jesus is doing great things. I haven't even checked where our giving is tonight. I haven't even checked once. He is doing great things. I think so many people got caught up in the glory they forgot to give. Joanne, I heard you one time you said, Joanne, are you still with me? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> you said one time, you said, I got to sow while the glory is flowing. I, I remember you saying that and some people just don't know the significance of that if I feel bad for some people that don't know the power behind that can you explain that to somebody yes I mean I literally I just dug myself up on the ground and up on the chair and the, the power of God feels like the pressure all over my body and, and, I, and I grab my checkbook and, and I managed to wrap the check I, I got my pen and I wrote a check and I showed I just did it did it now. See, I'm telling you, I know Jim and Joanne, I know how they live. When the glory strikes, when the glory comes in a heavy, heavy atmosphere, you're in the glory cloud. I know you two, and I know myself. That's the time to sow. That's the time to sow and to give. And I look at your message, David. Oh my. I, I'm just I got so many things in front of me, and I'm so caught up in the glory, the power and the Lord. Jesus, I thank you. Hallelujah. As we got just a few moments left in this broadcast. Jesus is setting people free. Bondages are being broken. Addictions are being broken. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the bondage of divorce. I never, I don't, something. It's being broken. Well, the, well, I'll tell you what it is. He said, declare war on debt break the debt off of people's lives in the spirit he said declare war in the spirit over people that are believing god for freedom in their finances for freedom in their body and some things are being broken in the spirit as we worship the lord and to know that jesus is our elder brother god is our father jesus is our brother <laughs> He's no longer the begotten of the firstborn. He has many brethren now. I think some people think they, they forget that. They don't realize that, that he, he's, there's many brethren, many brethren. Praise God. Whew. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. You know, David, I said, I said to the Holy Spirit today, say, the broadcast the Holy Spirit, I am learning to trust you more and more and more. I'm trusting him more than I've ever trusted him in my life. And it's wonderful. Wonderful. It is. It's good to be in his presence. It's good to trust him and to know he's right there looking out for you. Mm -hmm. And it's just like love. I, I don't know. Like, I got things, like, I don't know how to explain it. He was outside of me. He was inside of me. He was all over me. I got totally consumed with the Holy Spirit. I, I, there's no word. Yeah. Right? No word. But I I can say with 100% faith that Jesus will touch you at the point of your need. Whatever it is that 
he will meet you at the point of the need. Hold on, I got. I want to say that again so that people may not understood. Jesus will meet you at your point of need. I like that. That's so true. That's so right. He's our healer. He's our restorer. Yes. Our um, savior. He's our bondage breaker. He's our, he's our captain. Uh, he helps me clean my house. He's my everything and my all in all. I depend on him for everything. Every step I take. Every step I take. Blood of the Holy Spirit. Blood of the Holy Spirit. I've been doing this for years. I don't know any other way to live. And in fact, I don't think I'd make it for you. I know I wouldn't. I'm not going to try. Walk with him. Talk with him. Spend time with him. Walk with him. Spend time with him. That's right. So much love to give and so much power. Hey, hallelujah, thank you. That is such a lie of the devil. Honey, let me tell you. God is greater power in the universe. And mm-hmm. that devil is under his feet. That's right. Greater is that is in peace in the world. That's the truth. Don't, don't look at the news. Look at what's going on. That's, that's all lies. The truth is God's word. The truth is God created this universe. Listen the heavens and last and he makes the earth his footstool. His enemies are under his feet. Our enemies are under his feet and our enemies are under our feet. We are victorious in Jesus Christ. We have a mansion in heaven waiting for us, but we have a work to do for Jesus Christ. With every breath we have that he's given us in our body, we use it. We use it to do what God wants us to do. Yes. Fear Jesus everywhere we go. Everyone we come to. Fear Jesus. Let him, let him be your advocate. you got to go to a court case. Walk in that courtroom with Jesus. Let him speak for you. Let him speak in your behalf. Mm. He'll take care of you. He will take care of you. He's not fair. God's not giving us a spirit of fear, the power of love, and of a sound mind. That's right. He loves us. He loves us. He's our father. We are his children. This is our elder brother. We belong to the family of God. We're joined here with Jesus Christ. We're seated with Jesus in heavenly places. We're his ambassadors and representatives in the earth. There's nothing too difficult for God. There's nothing God cannot do. Yeah. The testimony, as the testimony, as the testimony, the prove that there's nothing God cannot do. Nothing. Greater is he that is in us than he's in the world. Hallelujah. I think I'm prophesying and that's all. I open my mouth and I'm <laughs> God, the only thing God cannot do is he cannot lie. He cannot go against his will. And he cannot go against your will. Those are the only three things God cannot do. Everything else, it's open season. All right. Yes. Brother Fred, I'm praying for your family. My, my. I'm praying for Fred and his whole family. I love your family. Father, I pray right now that the victory of the Lord comes upon my brother and upon my sister tonight. While the anointing has been flowing, while the anointing has been flowing, Lord, I thank you, Lord. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Listen, I got some scriptures tonight to give you. You ready for them? One day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. Psalms 112, verse 5. A good man shows favor and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. And he that diligently seeketh good procureth favor. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his, bless his holy name, bless the name of Jesus, bless his holy, oh, bless his holy, holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my 
my soul and all that is within me. Let your glory fall upon every person watching, over everyone listening tonight. Let the glory of God blanket down across everyone watching and listening across the world tonight. We bless you tonight. Just say it to the Lord. Say, I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I bless you. No matter what's come my way, I bless the Lord. He has done great things. That's right. Tammy, your husband's being healed. I sensed it earlier. The healing power of God's coming over his muscles, his joints. Aha! Heaven is clapping. I hear heaven clapping. Oh, I don't know really what that means. Except victory is over your family. God's victory is over your family. That's Tammy and Ron in Iowa. I sense the Lord is healing his body healing right now to flow I will bless the Lord come on sing it the Lord can give somebody a $700 bank account oh my soul if God can give you healing and save you from your sins and deliver you from the darkness of this world's oppression you got enough to praise God about right now I will bless his holy name <laughs> I will bless him Joanne, I see the candle of the Lord over you and Jim's life. I see it's like a lamp, like a kerosene lamp. And I see it burning, not just in you, but over your heads. Illuminating your path and illuminating around you. The candle of the Lord. It's lit in your life. He's doing great things. Hallelujah, he is doing. Tia, Tia, the seed that you sowed is going to have consequences of greatness. You're going to see it over and over and over for the next 55 days. You're going to see some great things happen over the next 55 days mark it down on your calendar and watch the great things that God does I will bless the Lord oh my soul I gotta prophesy over the seed tonight I gotta prophesy over your seed all that is within me bless his holy name Lord oh yeah I'm sorry, we are down to one, one phone and, and many of you have tried to call and couldn't get through. We'll fix it. It's just a matter of time. Oh, my dear friend, Rev in Georgia. God's going to give you supernatural strength in your body. You're going to have supernatural strength in your body and you're going to know that it came from the Lord and not from a pill or not from man. It's just coming from God, Rev. The Holy Spirit power is strengthening you right now. Even now, you've needed this move of the Spirit that you're feeling. Even now, the Lord is going to take the dryness, the dry season from out of people around you. There, there's some people around you and their life is dry, but the Holy Spirit of God is going to be wet moisturizer through your mouth, through your life, through the Spirit of God in you. It's going to bring moisturizing to their spiritual life. Ha ha! Yeah, Lord, do it through Rev. Touch them, Lord. Touch him right now, in the name of Jesus. Kathy, I thank you for the victory of God that's championing in your life, in your home. The peace of God settling down upon your situations. And the Spirit of the Lord, God, is moving mightier than before. He's going to take those things that were lost in your life and he's going to Bring a champion, a parade of champions, of victories into your life in this summer season. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And all that. I can't get away from the Spirit of God tonight. I can't get away from the flow. There's a burning in me. There's a burning in the Holy Ghost tonight. The anointing. 
that anointing I've lived with since I was a child. It makes some people cry. It makes some people laugh. It, it makes some people mad. It makes some people envious. It makes some people jealous. Sometimes it turns people off when they're carnal. But I know that I know that I know that that anointing power that's been with me since, since I was a child, he is doing great things. Hallelujah. He, Jesus, is doing, doing great things. Hallelujah. He, he's doing great things. Bless. Fred, I see the rain of the Spirit coming down. Gentle, gentle rain healing your family, Fred healing your family do it Lord right there in the Seattle area don't do it Lord I will bless the Lord hold my soul and all that is within me we bless you we bless you Come on, just say, I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you. I praise you. When the rest of the world's gone mad and lost their mind, I bless you, Lord. I bless the name of Jesus. You're doing great things in my life. Come on, say it. You're doing great things in my life. Jesus is the, has been authorized to be the high priest of your profession. He's been authorized by God to be the high priest of your profession. You didn't know it before, but you know it now. Come on, take your liberty. Open your mouth wide and say it. Jesus, you're doing, you're doing great things in my life. I bless your holy name. I bless your holy name. I praise him coming in. I praise him going out. I bless the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 3, or verse 2. A good man obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 13 and 15. Good understanding gives favor. <laughs> Can I give you more? Can I shoot down the devil? Can I nail the devil and put him in defeat? He's already been defeated, but... When I quote the word over your life, it nails another nail in his coffin. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. But a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor. Mmm, loving favor. Do you love favor? Rather than silver or gold. Every man shall kiss his lips that gives a right answer. Daniel 1, chapter 1, verse 9, tells us God brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. Luke 2, 52, Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and the favor with God and man. I'm here to tell you today, one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. Joanne, people are feeling the presence of the Lord like they haven't felt in a long time and they've been so thirsty. Even some of them have been dry ground and they're receiving the dew of God, the freshness of God, the, the rain of the Spirit. I know you're feeling it there in Lexington. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm feeling it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that the, 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 the deep Word heard that tongue comes on me, and I just start laughing. The, 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 the laugh of victory in the spirit, victory. Yes. Hearing victory. When, uh, at the end, when we prayed, I just kept hearing victory, victory, victory. That's right. Um, victory, victory, victory. And I know that the mind of the spirit, we have the victory in the name of Jesus. If we will just rise up and choose the name of Jesus, we'll have the victory in the name of Jesus. Okay. Fix your face. Put 
believe it. But it's true. Yes, yes, yes. The way to sleep is alive. There's no other way to the Father. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he's given us the victory. All power and authority has been given unto Jesus Christ, God the Father in heaven and in earth in the name of Jesus. And he makes that power and authority available to us as his followers, as his foes. Join here to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, our elder brother, our high priest. Ever answer the order of Melchizedek, we have the power and authority in the name of Jesus, and we just need to use it in the name of Jesus. And now it's available to us, and whatever it is, we just say, I take authority over it in the name of Jesus, and then just declare whatever it is you need uh, for that to happen. If you need the devil out of your house, you say, I take authority over this in the name of Jesus, I command the devil, get out of my house, get out of my life, get off my job, whatever it is, get off yes, my yes. in the name of Jesus, get off my family, in the name of Jesus, because we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, just use that name, that precious, precious, powerful name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's so much power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I keep hearing the Lord say, The blessing of the Lord maketh you rich and addeth no sorrow. No sorrow. All sorrow has to go. Now, she said something that's so powerful, and I know I didn't know she said it on the comments. She said, and I did not know she said it. I just know I just know them. When the anointing starts flowing, they start sowing. Some of you need to go to monthlypartners.com and sow right now while the anointing is flowing. And I want I want to see what the Lord says. I want to see what the Lord says right now over your seed. Your seed is going into the ground. I don't know who this is for. I would if I if I if I seen that person sewing, I would know who. I see gifts and surprises, rebates and returns. Checks in the mail, dividends, free flowing favors of God. I don't normally talk about this, but I see somebody putting something on a credit card. And the Lord said, the debt is going to come off that credit card. Just as the Lord gave great favor to Doris. Opening up, a, she don't even know where it came from. She has no idea where it came from. She doesn't know how that checking account got opened. But the Lord knows. The Lord, that's favor from the Lord. Now, I know Doris. She doesn't make up things. She's been serving the Lord a long time. She did not make up things. And I know Jim and Joanne. They don't make up things. If these are very serious people about God, you know. Oh, I tell you. I will bless the Lord. I'm going to sing it one more time. Oh, my soul. And I feel like the prophetic word of the Lord is over somebody's giving tonight. Somebody's going to give with Cash App tonight. And I'm supposed to give the word of the Lord over that seed sown in good ground. Somebody got so, so down that they lost their humor. Joanne says another hundred dollars was discovered and multiplied in her purse again this week. That's angel money. She has no idea where it comes from. The Lord puts it in there. The Lord puts it in there. I'm telling you, these are people that are on the rhythm of faith. Fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh victory. A few of you know. Yes, Pete, that's what I'm talking about. The amount makes no difference. It's it's the act of obedience while the anointing is flowing in a river that you you got it. You 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 understand it.
I heard the Lord say for you, Pete, that God is going to reveal hidden money for you. Just like he did for Doris. But, the, but it's going to be different. I don't know if it's with some college that you used to go to. Perhaps you went to a college. That's, that's what comes up in my spirit. Or the state Department of Revenue. Something, something along those lines. There's hidden money. It's for you. It was left behind like a deposit or something. It's for you. Shoo! My God. I'm telling you, I declared today you're coming out of debt. You're coming out of you're coming into freedom, financial freedom. You're coming into victory in the name of Jesus. This is not for everybody. This is for somebody. This is not for everybody. This is for you. This is for somebody. Go right now to monthlypartners.com. I feel that prophetic flow coming. I mean, just stirring with inside of me. Hallelujah. Jesus is doing great things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus is doing doing great things hallelujah Jesus you're doing great and awesome things the Lord says take the limits off of me watch and see the fear will go the reward of love is found in the absence of fear fear is no longer on you the reward of love oh yeah bless the lord <laughs> oh my soul and all that pete the, i heard the lord say there's a co-worker caught up in pride and the lord's gonna the Lord's going to humble them right before your eyes. That's it. Tammy, I hear the Lord say that the precious Holy Spirit of God, like a dove, is coming down upon your whole family, and you're going to be so surprised to see what the Lord, what he did before is nothing like what he's getting ready to do. So bless the Lord, O oh your soul. Rise up within you and walk in the victory that he's established for you. God is going to show you, Tammy and Ron, he's going to show you. He's going to show you the motives of people's lives and hearts around you. And don't let it rock your world when he does. Don't let it rock your world when he shows you the motive, the hidden agendas. Some of them will be good. Good hidden agendas. Good motives. But there are others you're going to be shocked when you see it. But the Lord is exposing it for favor to come to you. Not for you to be shook up emotionally, but for favor, favor, favor. The favor of the Lord over Ron and Tammy right now and over that seed right now. Let the power of that seed in Ron and Tammy right now spring up mightily. There it comes. There it comes. Let the power of the seed come up in Pete's life and Tia's life and Jim and Joanne. Those that are sowing right now. Let the power of the seed, oh my Lord and my God, Jesus, I will bless the Lord. I bless you, Lord. Your seed is springing up right now. It's coming up out of the ground. It's in the spirit first. All that is within me. Bless. Woo. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Oh, bless the holy name of Jesus. Joanne said, this is the time to sow. This is not a time to just sit by idly and watch. This is the time to sow into the latter rain and the former rain together. That's what it is. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Just put the words in my mouth. That's what it is. It's the latter rain and the former rain together, mixed together. And they're sowing. There's some people that are sowing. it. It's not about the big amount. It's about the act of faith that you're sowing into the flow into the flow jesus release the harvest release greater harvest oh god 
Thank you, Lord. There's yet one that's going to go to Cash App right now, and they're going to sow on using Cash App. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. The Lord will show me once I see it, once it comes up before me. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. I will bless the Lord. Come on, praise him right now. I will bless the Lord, oh, my soul and all. within me bless bless his whole bless his holy name we bless the name of Jesus it's holy it's righteous it's perfect it's altogether lovely it's altogether good the name of Jesus is a strong tower they that run into it they shall be safe he's doing great things right now beloved Come on, you're coming out of that valley. You're lifting your hands. You're going to praise the Lord. You hear me? You're coming out of that valley. You're not far from your miracle. You're not far from the victory. I told you there's a victory campaign. And we're declaring it. By Friday, some of you are going to have some real testimonies. I'll tell you, Doris, it seemed like you kicked off something. Just your testimony alone sparked faith in everyone listening. Who but God can give you an unknown bank account where the bankers don't know where it came from. Drop $700, the number of perfection, into your lap when you needed it the most. Who but God can do that? Oh, yeah. And let's not forget you sowed 111. Oh! I didn't even ask you that night. I looked at it. It came up on my monitor and I said, I didn't even ask for that. That night, maybe a few nights back. But the Lord put it in your heart and you sowed that 111. I remember that night. That was the exit of Brother Israel. He gets off of that for work to go home. And and it was 111 and you sowed it. You walked in obedience and then all of a sudden, bam, just like that. You got a bank account that the bankers don't know where it came from. They don't know how the $700 got there, but it's in your name. Joanne looked tonight and she found an extra $100 in her purse that she doesn't know where it came from. These are angelic encounters that are happening. And if you don't have the faith to believe it, I've got to pray for you. I've got to pray that the Lord increases your faith. I've got to pray that you that you can get in the word and become strong enough to where your faith increases. Oh, Jesus, help us in our unbelief. God can do anything. There's so much that he can do. Take the limits off of God tonight. I felt that tonight. Take the limits off of God tonight. Yes. Yes, I got to wait on the Lord for a moment. Bless his holy, holy, holy name. He's got a holy name. Not an average name. Not a worldly name. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is. Jesus, it's only you that can make my face radiant. It's only the presence and the glory, the Shekinah glory that fills this secret place that makes my face radiant, that transmits through the airways, through the microphone, through the through the video cameras, that makes this place, fills it with the radiant glory of your power, oh God. Loose the love of God. Loose the presence of Jesus right now. That's it. Take it all. Take it all. Take the full dose of the Holy Ghost right now. He is doing great things. Jesus. The flow of the Spirit. The flow of the anointing. Oh, it's, he's here right now. 
He's here right now. Aha. I will bless the Lord. Aha. Oh, yeah. Come on, say, oh, my soul. And all that is within me, bless, bless his whole. Somebody's hip. Your hip is being healed. The doctors say you need surgery. And you haven't been wanting to do surgery, but the Lord is, the great physician, Jesus, is touching that hip right now. Healing that hip. The great physician steps into your room right there, right there where you are and heals you. I, I don't know who you are. I don't know how you got here, but the Spirit of the Lord is healing that hip right now. No hip replacement. Hip replacement to be canceled in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God and my Lord. Bless the Lord. Ah, la 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 and all that is within me. Sometimes you can't sing it in English. Ha <laughs> ha Hey hey! Woo! Glory! Thank you, Jesus. The flowing free favors of God into your life. The healing power of God. The victory that's being championed in your life right now. You're not living on the anointing of yesterday. You're living on the anointing of today. The marvelous grace of God. Everlasting joy shall be upon your head everlasting joy shall be upon your head you're the redeemed of the Lord you're going to return unto Zion An everlasting joy shall be upon your head I declare everlasting joy shall come on your head oh oh yeah Yes, Stacy, I pray right now the, the strength and rest to come on you right now. I pray right now a better job coming to your husband. No more cut hours, no more cutting corners. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare jobs and better jobs over your husband. The Lord said this is a brand new transition. A brand new transition for you. And you're going to get a better you're going to have a better job that's got better pay, less hours and more benefits. Do it, Lord. Hey! Hey! Oh my Lord and my God, Stacy. Throw your hands up in the air and take that. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Take it right now. In the name of Jesus. Less hours, better pay, and better benefits. Do it, Lord. Do it, Father. It's coming. There it comes. There it comes. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless. I got radio station managers don't like it when I talk in tongues and I'm sorry and our people will have to edit that out for you but for some reason if you're watching or t watching or listening today and you don't speak in tongues instead of letting it offend you throw your hands up and ask the Holy Ghost to fill you he's the same yesterday today and forever I am the Lord I change not
Throw your hands up to you. Begin to speak out loud in the Holy Ghost. You're going to have joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Flooding you more and more. Yes. The strength of God coming into your life right now. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Every demon power that's tried to come against your mind. Tried to come against your body. We break it down. We break its power from off of your body. Ha! Thank you, Lord. Victory comes to your legs, to your feet, to your arms, to your back, to every muscle being strengthened. Every muscle being strengthened. My Lord and my God, the anointing flows right now into your body, into your body. All that is within me. I bless his holy name. I give God the praise. This is your victory hour. This is your victory moment. This is your victory time. This is a, not a time to retreat. This is not a time to turn back. This is not a time to take your hand off the plow. This is time to give God the victory, to give God the praise. This is the time to rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. This is the time to bless the Lord, all oh, your soul and all that is within you. This is the time to have holy communication spring up within you. This is the time to let the redeemed of the Lord say so. This is the time to recognize that he is your high tower. They that run to him shall be safe. This is the time to know that he is your buckler and your shield. This is the time to know that he is your hammer, your rock your defense Jesus you're our door I will bless the Lord oh my soul take a deep breath take a deep breath to you the power of the Holy Spirit is coming over you right now there's no time distance or space in the realm of the anointing take a deep breath here it comes a wave of his presence Precious anointing to fill your room just like it's filling the secret place here so too it fills your room so too it fills the atmosphere of your car ha! I had one of these programs the anointing was just flowing like this and 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 it was on a rerun and I had it on my phone just monitoring it you know and we were in Walmart I just turned it up and the glory of God just saturated. <laughs> it's great to be at two places at once, you know. And the glory of God just... And I can see demons manifest. I can see people... The attitudes change. I can just... Just by the anointing. Hey! I command the atmosphere in your home to change. I command the atmosphere in your business to change. I command the atmosphere in your family and your marriage to change. I command the atmosphere in your car to change. I command not only the atmosphere, but the attitude. Ha! Ah, your hands that hang down low. Shake off the heavy bands. Lift up the holy hands. Watch and see what the Lord. Oh, there it is. 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 Another wave of his glory. Take it. Take it all. Bless the Lord. Woo! I will bless your name, Lord. And all that is within me. I hear the Lord say, fear not. Fear not. Fear not, my children. Ha <laughs> ha. The radiant glory of my joy is coming over you now. The radiant atmosphere of heaven is coming down upon you now. Even through the night, even through your sleep, the radiant joy, the radiant atmosphere of heaven, atmospheric pressure, the barometer of heaven is coming into your life. Hey! 
your hands up and pray in the Holy Ghost. Let them fill you. Somebody hasn't spoken tongues in years. You need it. You need it. Open your mouth. Let the Holy Ghost speak through you tonight. I give you praise tonight, Lord. And I thank you that a fresh flow of victory comes to my brother and to my sister. And Lord, I know that victory, you're on the victory side. I hear the Lord say that for you. Tonight, you busted through. I know you're not supposed to say that word busted, but that's what happened. You busted through. Victory doesn't happen out there. It happens right here in the secret place on your knees. And you had a breakthrough tonight. I had a breakthrough. You had a breakthrough. Together we had a breakthrough as family. All I can say is hello family. God's given you a breakthrough. Been with you nearly three hours tonight and boy, when the anointing flows like this, it just seems like it goes that fast. I want the most of your conversation this week to be with Jesus. But I want you to walk in your victory and I want you to tell Satan to get out of your life. Get out of your children, get out of your family, get out of your money. Every stronghold that he's tried to build in your life, I'm telling Victory is mine. Say that out loud. Say, victory is mine. I know most of you haven't sang it in years. It's been a long time since you sang that song. An oldie moldy. It's probably older than some of you watching. Victory is mine. And you're going to have to tell Satan to get behind you. Get away from you. Get long gone. I'm convinced the devil can't be within a thousand miles of me. I got victory. Say it, victory is mine. Listen, don't miss this opportunity. When the anointing is flowing like this, get it in the ground. Sow it. Many of you have. Whether it's Cash App, you can see it in the corner there. Or whether it's monthly partners, whatever. I know some of you mailed it already. Praise God, I'm, I'm looking for that and will. Praise God when that comes in. We give God the praise. Yes, Tammy, I've seen it. Ha, huh, what a night. Yeah, Jim, the flow, you're right. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. <laughs> I told Satan, get me behind. Victory today is mine. Joy is mine. I told the devil tonight he wasn't going to get the victory. Just because my phones are on the blink, I said, I've got another way. And we sure did. I told, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. <laughs> Favor is mine. Favor is mine. The Favor of the Lord is mine. Sing it with me. Come on. I told Satan, get thee behind. The favor of the Lord is mine. Healing is mine. Healing is mine. The healing of the Lord is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Listen, 
before I go, I've got to say this by the Lord. He just told me, Deuteronomy 28, 6. Blessed shall you be when you come in. Blessed when you be when you go out. He's blessing you're coming in and you're going out. That's for somebody tonight. Come on, just say it out loud. Say, that's for me. Come on, claim it right now. Say, that's for me. That's for me. You're blessed coming in. You're blessed going out. Deuteronomy 28, 6. I want you to, I want you to live on that this week. Everything you do, everything you touch, everywhere you go. It's kind of like you got the Midas touch, you know? Everything you touch turns to good. Because God's on you. That's why. Because God's on you. The creator of the heavens and the earth are upon you. I don't know. My wife has seen me glow. I don't know if I was glowing tonight, but I sure feel like I'm glowing like a light bulb tonight. I feel that. I feel that on me. So strong. I want to say before I go, yes, thank you, Doris, for saying that. I received that. As you sow your $100 seed, we got our back order in, so the, the little warehouse, that's our garage. I call it our warehouse. My, my children, my wife laugh, you know. It's the garage, Dad. I said, it's our warehouse. We're going to have a warehouse. We're <laughs> Call those things which are not as though they are, okay? It's filled up with these, and we're ready to send them out to those who sow $100 or more into this ministry through the month of May. Every month, I'm trying to bring to you a, a different love gift from our ministry just to say thank you. And if you go to monthlypartners.com and sow a $100 seed or more, I want to send this to you. I'll pay the postage. It'll be a blessing to you. Right now, my children are waiting for me, praying, hoping we missed last night, and, and little Deborah came to me. Daddy, she's so long-faced, you know. I said, what's the matter, baby? She said, you missed my Bible reading last night. Uh, you know how great that is to have your children want to hear the Bible? This will make it fun. Laugh and learn. Bible for kids. Get it. Put it in somebody's life. That'll be a blessing to somebody. I've got lots of jobs. You know, i got to... A job to be a faithful husband, and I'm pretty good at that. Real good at that. I got a job to be faithful to my children and read the Bible and bring them up. I got five of them. You know, that's a lot. These gray hairs didn't pop out from nowhere. Nah. I'm a pastor to some on the radio. I'm an evangelist to some in churches. I'm an apostle to some others. I'm a <laughs> I wear so many hats, but the most powerful hat that I could wear is the hat of prayer to stay under the anointing. Every successful thing in my life has happened because I prayed. And every failure that came in my life came because I did not pray. And I want to challenge you. Find a secret place. Get in it. It might just start out by 10 minutes a day. But get in that secret place. Go before your father. Take your elder brother. He's the one that takes you into the room. Jesus is your elder brother. Uh, did you get this tonight? Did you learn something tonight? He's your elder brother. He's the high priest who's been authorized to get on your mouth and your lips and your tongue. What a teaching. What a teaching. And I pray you got that tonight. Father, I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister tonight. What a night. Give us more nights like this, Lord. Give me strength physically. To come more often like this. Three hours. I thank you for victory. In the Lord. In Jesus name. I'm out of time. I love you. I gotta go. And I can't wait to hear from you. Go to monthlypartners.com. Even after we go off tonight. You've been listening to Pray America Live. With evangelist and radio pastor. David Woods. Join us online with David Woods Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope channels for a refreshing time of one-on-one -on -one prayer, testimonies, and singing. David Woods Ministries is supported by the love gifts and free will love offerings of partners just like you. You can become a radio ministry partner by going to www.monthlypartners.com.